Welcome back to Corner Stories. Today, we have a two-story video. The first story is about a jealous girlfriend that ends in useless violence. My girlfriend hit my best friend's wife. So I'll give some backstory here because there was already tension prior to this incident. I and my best friend have been best friends for over 20 years we are now 28 and 27. He doesn't like sharing any of his business. This also applied when he started dating his now wife, 26. I didn't even know until they had officially become a couple and I hadn't met her until after their one-year anniversary. Best friend asked me to not tell my girlfriend about his because my girlfriend is pretty talkative and would have told others. I didn't see a problem with this as my best friend and GF didn't really talk much and me and my GF never talked about him. About three years ago my best friend posted about his three-year anniversary with his girlfriend and all of our friends were shocked as none of them knew he was seeing anyone. My girlfriend got upset with me for knowing this information and keeping it a secret from her. We had a fight but resolved it. I've suggested double dates since but she has never been interested. She didn't even come to my best friend's wedding. Fast forward to now, our friend group always takes a vacation every year. My best friend wife has never come so all of our friends only met her at the wedding. This year, we were set to go skiing, some things happened and we couldn't make it our original destination. So we ended up coming to my best friend's house. Everyone was excited because they get to see best friend's wife. While at the house, I got really sick from the food we had at the airport. I had stomach aches and the worst headache humanly possible. Best friend's wife is one of those herbal medicine people. So she made me some tea and did some trick with pulling my hair to relieve the headache which worked instantly. She had made dinner, my girlfriend refused to eat and insisted she wasn't hungry, cool. We complimented the cooking and went to sleep early. My girlfriend has refused to talk to best friend's wife and has been upset this entire trip. She has been mocking best friend's wife's accent, she's from Congo, and we talked about it and she finally stopped. The last pair of people we had been waiting for arrived super late last night. So today we hung out at the house and had dinner together. There have been a lot of attention on best friend's wife as no one really knows her. My girlfriend got angry and started mocking her accent in front of everyone. Best friend glared at me and it got really awkward. I spoke with GF outside and she started crying really loud and backed on some plant stand and accidentally knocked it over which made a noise. Best friend's wife came to check up and before I knew it my girlfriend punched her face and she started crying. My best friend came to this and now wants my girlfriend gone in the morning. With the holidays, no nice hotels near us are available. GF doesn't care and is sleeping on the couch. I've apologized to my friend and his wife several times. But I'm completely pissed at my girlfriend. She doesn't normally act like this. She hasn't been clear on her feelings or thoughts leading up to now. This is definitely going to leave a dent in my friendship. I don't know what more to do here. Edit, for everyone saying, there is more to the story, no there really isn't. This is as much I know. That's why I'm really clueless about what to do here also the reason we didn't leave immediately last night is because we drove up here with two other people. Wouldn't be fair to them. Some relevant comments, your girlfriend is acting like a psycho. I don't know what her explanation could possibly be, but it would have to be really good for me to stay with her after this. Jealousy with a dash of racism, a delightful mix. Jealousy with a dash of racism, xenophobia with a large dose of feeling intimidated. The girlfriend needs to go get herself some therapy. I'm definitely going with racism since best friend didn't want OP telling her about his wife. OP's best friend may have kept it hidden because he knew OP's GF is racist and that could be why best friend isn't really comfortable sharing info with OP. Seems as if all comments are pointing in the same direction and I hope the OP in this story breaks up with his girlfriend and finds someone better. I also hope that the wife presses charges. With that we will move on to the next story. I am packing up my stuff and moving out before my fiancé comes home tomorrow. How can life go sour this fast? He a 38 male, just proposed to me, 37 female, a week ago and made me the happiest woman on earth. Why did he do that if he didn't love me? If I wasn't enough? I just can't understand what's happening. I am so grateful I have my family. My brothers who left everything to come and help me move out my stuff before he got home. I don't know how to repay them. I know how busy they are with Christmas around the corner and yet they dropped everything and came when they heard me crying on the phone. He usually goes on trips for work, this time however I found it odd that he was staying until Christmas Eve. 
Usually they are only away during the weekdays and rarely on weekends. I also found it odd that he didn't FaceTime me to say goodnight and when I tried he said that he was too tired and apologized. He usually sleeps to my FaceTime to pretend I was with him. Then he sent me a goodnight picture of him in bed. I sent him a kiss. Then before going to bed I scrolled IG and he had shared that same picture and one of our mutual friends commented, is that my name in the reflection? Say hi from me. I was confused and sure enough I saw a woman reflected in his glasses. I didn't notice that when he sent me the picture and probably he didn't either. I liked the comment. My fiancé didn't answer. Probably he wasn't online. I didn't know what to do it was already late at night but I felt like the world was closing in around me so I called my mom crying and she asked me to come home. I said no, I needed to start packing and I have been doing it all night. This morning my brothers and my parents showed up with moving van. I love them so much. My fiancé has now deleted the picture. He probably saw that I liked the comment about the woman in the reflection. He has called me over a 100 times and is still calling me. I will never see or speak to him ever again. He will never see me crying. I will never ask why. He will never get the chance to explain. He can stay in hotels with all the women in the world for all I care. Why do these things happen? I really thought he was happy. That I made him happy. How could he? Some relevant comments classy tip off from the friend. A friendly and innocuous message that not only brought you into the loop, but also outed him to your whole social circle. At this point, any justification he has doesn't really matter. He will keep phoning and attempting to defend himself, but I will block and disconnect him. After that, discard the ring. The man is a fool. I doubt there's any explanation that could cover up this incident. So glad that you have the full support of your family. Time to move on and just block his everything. OP's response, that's what I'm planning to do. I will never get a real answer to why he did this and even if he gave me an honest answer I am, not sure if I want to hear it. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to connect with each other in the comments below. Until next time, be kind, be curious, and I'll catch you in the next video. Until then Corner Stories signing off.